All right, let's take a look at this guy's quadratics for GCSE maths. So this guy's quadratics can at first appear really difficult, but once you just understand how to just get the hang of it, basically, it becomes really simple. Let's take a look at an example question. We might have two uh, multiplied by root x squared minus five multiplied by root x plus three all equaling zero. When you first see something like this, it might appear a little bit confusing. You don't know how exactly to solve it. But once you get the idea, it becomes really easy. So what we're going to do is, it kind of feels like you're cheating the system. We're going to let the letter u equal root x. Now we use the letter u because it's one of the letters that we don't commonly use in our algebraic equations. So we use y, x, z a lot, right? But u, not so common, right? That's why we, the general rule is that we use u for this this guy's quadratics so we say let u equal root x if root x is equal to u then root x squared should equal u squared right because if we have root x squared that's going to be the same as u squared right so we're going to have 2 u squared minus well um, u is going to replace root x right so minus 5u and there's no root x behind, so it just becomes plus 3. Now we just have our normal quadratic equation. How do we solve quadratic equations? We factorize them. So we could have 2u and u. Remember, when these two multiply, they become 2u squared. And that's all going to equal 0. What numbers multiply to, make, to give us the number 3 and add to give us the number minus 5? Well, we could have negative 1 and negative 3. 3 and 1. That's pretty much our only combination. But notice, if we have we have a negative 5u in the middle, so one of the numbers have to be a negative. So what if we put negative 1, negative 3? Well, let's test it out. So factorizing quadratic equations is basically trial and error. 2u multiplied by u is 2u squared minus 6u minus u plus 3. Well, our last number is correct, but this gives us minus 7u, which isn't what we're looking for. What if we put our minus 3 first? That'll mean it's going to multiply with this smaller u, giving us a smaller middle number. 2u times u is 2u squared. 2u times minus u is minus 2u. Minus 3u, minus 3 times u is minus 3u. Minus 3 times negative u is, remember, minus and a minus makes a positive, so plus u. Sorry, what am I doing? That should be minus 1. Plus 1. That's going to give us minus 5u plus uh, negative, well, negative 3 times negative 1, giving us 3 minus 5u and 2u squared, which is what we want. So this is our number factorized. Well, that's we're not quite done yet. 2u minus 3, we need to find out what the value of u is going to be, right? Well, if u is 3 over 2, you multiply that with 2, that's going to give us uh, positive 3, right? And positive 3 will give us 0. Remember, to get quadratic equations, you want to have each bracket equal 0. That's going to satisfy equation, right? Because if this becomes 0, this multiplied by this is also going to be 0. So our u for this number, uh, first bracket is going to be 3 over 2. Or we can have two answers for this. That's just going to be 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, and 0 multiplied by that is still going to give us 0. But we're not quite done yet, remember, because we let u equals root x. So we can rewrite this as root x equal to 3 over 2, or root x is equal to 1. We're still not quite done. We want to get our answer in x equals something form. So if I continue on over on this side, we can square both sides to become x equals 3 over 2 all squared. And this um, other answer can become x equals 1 squared. Well, x equals 1 squared is just 1, right? That's one answer, x equals 1. Second answer is 3 over 2 squared, which is just 3 over 2 times 3 over 2, which is 9 over 4. So x is equal to 9 over 4. So we have two answers, x is 9 over 4, and x is 1. So all we are really doing with this guy's quadratics is when we have something similar that we can replace with a simpler letter, and then we just get a quadratic equation and we solve from there. Let's take a look at one more challenging question, let's say. 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 56. Now this takes on a slightly different form, so it might confuse you slightly. But we want to try to get our powers all the same so we can kind of simplify it. So what's 4 4? How can we simplify 4? We can write it as 2 squared, all multi multiplied by x, right? Because 2 squared, when we multiply powers, we add them, right? 
So 2 squared is 4, and 4 to the power of x. It's going to equal 2 to the power of x plus 56. Now then, we can do a quick little rearranging to move everything over to the left side. So 2 to the power of 2x, because remember, remember, we multiply our powers. 2 to the power of 2x, sorry, we don't need that. Minus 2 to the power of x, we're moving this over. Minus 56 is all going to equal 0. You notice anything? We have a 2 to the power of x in common. So we can say, let u equals 2 to the power of x. Well, we have 2 to the power of 2x on our first side, right? So, well, 2 to the power of 2x is simply going to be 2x multiplied by uh, 1 to the power of 2, right? Uh, sorry, if u is equal to 2x, well, then u squared is going to equal 2 to the power of x squared, right? Which is 2 to the power of 2x. So, the first section of our quadratic equation becomes u squared. Uh, we said 2x becomes u, so minus u minus 56 is equal to 0. Then we just factorize u and u, all equal to 0. And we could have minus 8 and 7, I believe. Yep, that should make us give us the numbers we need. Minus 8 plus 7. And all we have to do is solve for u. So u is either 8 or u is equal to negative 7. Right? What do we have left to do? Well, we're going to... Uh, what was u initially? It was 2x. So 2 to the power of x is equal to 8, or 2 to the power of x is equal to negative 7. If I can write it, right? And then we can just solve for x, which means x will have to be 3 in this situation, because 2 to the power of 3 is going to equal 8. So x is either um, uh, 3, or 2 to the power of x is equal to negative 7, right? But we can't get a negative answer by powering a number. We're always going to get a positive number. So this one, we say there is no solution. So our only answer is x equals 3. Let's look at one final question that I consider quite challenging. 2 root x plus 3, all equaling 2 divided by root x. There's a couple of more steps involved with this question, if I can, if I say so. All right, what are we going to do? We're going to first move everything over to our left side so it equals 0. That's how we get our quadratic equation. So 2 root x stays the same, plus 3 stays, stays the same, but we're going to minus 2 divided by root x on both sides. So that we have a quadratic equation, sort of. Now, let's let u equal root x. Because this is our variable, and we also have root x twice, so we can let u equal that. That's going to become 2u plus 3 minus 2 over u, right? All equaling 0. Then, you notice, we don't have a quadratic. So we can't factorize our equation like this, which we did previously, because our initial first number is not a u squared. We can't do that. And we also have another issue. We have a fraction over here that we want to get rid of. What's the easy way to get rid of fractions? You multiply by u, right? That's going to get rid of the denominator. Well, if, you, if we multiply this, remember, when you're going to multiply one side by u, you have to multiply everything on that side by u as well as the other side. That means that's, keep, that's going to keep the equation the same. So 2u multiplied by u is going to be 2u squared, plus 3 multiplied by u is 3u, minus 2 multiplied by u is going to just be minus u, minus 2, sorry. I mean, if we multiply 0 by u, that's still going to keep us with 0. And now, you can see our quadratic equation. This really feels like magic to me. I don't know. When I was answering this question, it really shocked me. And then what, what do you do? You just factorize like normal. And you solve it just like you do with any other quadratic equation. How do we make negative 2? Neg it could be negative 1 times 2. Or it could be negative 1 times negative 2. But well, that's going to give us positive 2, so it can't be that. So it really only has to be, it can only really be minus 1 times 2, or negative 2 times uh, positive 1. What are we going to choose? Well, if we put 2 over here, that's going to give us 4u, right? Yeah, 2u times 2 is 4u. And if you have negative 1 here, minus u is going to give us 3u, and negative 1 times 2 is going to give us negative 2. So this is our factorized equation. Then we just find out what the value of u is going to be to give us 0 in each of the brackets. Well, u is going to have to be 1 over here, because 1 minus 1 makes 0. 
So how do we get one year? We can divide two by half. So u is a half in the first uh, bracket, or to get to, uh, zero here, it's gonna have to be minus two. So u is gonna equal minus two. What did u represent before? Root x, so replace u with root x equaling a half, or root x equaling negative two. And then we can square both sides to give us x is equal to a half squared, or x is equal to negative two squared, right? Well, a half squared is just half times half, which is gonna be one over four. So uh, final answer for one side, x is equal to one over four. By the way, this three dots making a triangle just shows therefore the final answer. Or negative two squared is gonna be um, negative two times negative two, right? That's just gonna be x equals four. And these are our final answers. Quadratic equations are really simple if you just think it through. Just see what things are in common, how you can rearrange or outsmart the question as the question to sort of rearrange it in the easiest way possible. I'm just going to replace the complicated ones with a letter. That's it. That's watching this one.